Great. Let's clear terminal and now let's proceed and let's actually look at the history of all commits. In order to check history of all commits, you could enter command git log. And now I see here only single commit. By the way, here is full sha hash of uh, this commit object. Here is main branch, it is pointer of the branch and it points now to this last commit. Here I see outer name Bogdan, here is outer email and here is date when this particular commit was made. Also I see here commit message, in my case first awesome commit text message. Also there is such pointer as head, all caps and it now points to main branch and main branch points now to this commit with this SHA-1 hash. And head is actually dynamic pointer and it represents your current location. At the moment we are in the main branch and head points to main branch. But if there are multiple branches, you could very easily move between different branches by checkouting other branch. And when you check out specific branch, then all what git does, it simply moves this head pointer to another branch. Same applies when you check out specific commit. We cannot check out specific commit now because now we have only one commit. But a bit later when we will create another file and another commit, we will be able to check out specific commit and you'll see that head will move to specific commit. Alright. We just committed changes in our git repository and now let's create one more file in the working directory and let's perform similar action, add it to staging area and afterwards commit changes. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's create new file similarly as we did before with file1.txt and I'll enter here echo, second for example, next will be greater than sign and here let's add file name txt and such command will as in previous example create file called 2.txt and write their text second. Great, let's press enter, let's verify whether this file was created or not and yes there is now file 2.txt and I see here this yellow cross sign and it means that uh, there are changes that were not yet committed in git repository. That's why let's enter git status command and I see untracked file 2.txt and I am still on the branch main. Let's perform same action as we did before, let's first add this file to the staging area and afterwards commit changes. And if you want to add all untracked files or modified files to staging area, you could use such command as git add with option dot that stands for all. So let's add all changes and all untracked files to the staging area, like that. Press enter and if I enter git status command now, I'll see that there are changes ready to be committed and there is new file 2.txt. Awesome, let's now go ahead and commit changes by entering command git commit, next will be option dash m that stands for message and here let's specify message second file, like that. And let's press enter. Changes were committed, here is commit message, second file, outer name and email are same as before, one file changed and there is one line in that file, plus here means that this new line was added. If you modify for example existing file that is already tracked by git and uh, remove some lines, then here you'll see minus sign and you'll see that uh, some lines, some amount of lines was removed. So file was committed and if I enter git status command now, I'll see that there is nothing to commit, working tree clean. Great, let's now have a look at the output of the git log command. And now here I see two commits and newest commit is shown at the top. So here is first awesome commit with its SHA hash and here is second commit with its unique SHA hash. And notice that now main branch points to this last commit. It means that git automatically moves branch pointer to the last commit that you make. And head that is dynamic pointer is also moved along with branch. 
actually had still points to the main branch, it does not know that uh, there was new commit, because it points only to the branch, and branch pointer actually just changed, and now it points to this commit instead of this commit. So, now we have two different commits, and now it's very easy to check out specific commit. And recap that at this moment of time, file 2.txt was absent. And if you check out this commit using its SHA hash, this one, then in working directory you should see only single file 1.txt. And before doing that, let me actually quickly summarize which commands we used before. 